All right, the last thing that we have to do with the condenser is to put the cover on here. And again, we're still using the quarter inch drive ratchet, or socket rather. Just snug it up. Now the wires that are coming out of the top of the cover here, when the time comes, when I'm sure that I have spark and I, and I don't have to take this apart again, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of my uh, Forma gasket, non-hardening Forma gasket sealer, and I'm going to seal up that hole to keep moisture out of there because you don't want any moisture to get into your points and condenser. The next step then, with your uh, coil raised up out of the way, We've got the flywheel, and this is the magnet on the flywheel. And there's actually a note right here that says, do not use a steel key for the flywheel. Here's the key we're going to use, and you'll see that it does not stick to the magnet, so we know that it's not steel. But what I want to do now is to turn the keyway away from the coil. Set this in place with the key. There we go. And then we've got the washer for the flywheel. Now this is a, a washer that's concave like this. We want to make sure that it, it bows out away from the flywheel. And then we've got our starter clutch. In another video I showed you how take this apart and clean it. There's threads inside here and what happens is that slides right on there and it screws onto those threads. And what we're going to do to tighten that up, we've got the Briggs and Stratton flywheel holder and it actually holds the flywheel in place so that I can take the starter clutch tool and I can tighten it on and the flywheel stays put. 